What's up, everybody? So I want to go over some questions I keep getting because I know if a few people ask, a lot of people are asking or wondering. So one of the questions I keep getting is where do we get our CMOS from? If my eyes are all over the place, because I don't know where to look on this particular camera, so bear with me. <laughs> um, so our CMOS comes from Ireland, um, Maine, St. Lucia, and Jamaica. So the, the Irish CMOS from Ireland and also Maine, that's cold water CMOS. That is different. It's a different species than this one, which is the gold in the multi. The gold in the multi comes from um, I, Ireland. The gold in the multi comes from St. Lucia and Jamaica. That's a warm water um, sea moss. It's, it's different species. It looks different, has a different texture and all of that. I don't have the Irish in front of me. I think, um, I think one of these bags are open. Um, yeah, this one. So this is the Irish sea moss, if you can see it. It's completely different from the other one. So the difference is everybody always asks me, what's the real difference? And I'm going to be honest with you guys. There's a lot of information floating around. There's a lot of conflicting information. Um, most people consider the Irish sea moss to be stronger in nutrients by a little bit. I cannot, I have not been able to confirm this for a fact and honestly, for me, using all of the different kinds for a few years, I don't personally notice a difference. Some people will tell you um, the Irish sea moss, for instance, is more, it, it has more nutrients. So it's going to build you up more. It's going to, you know, fortify your body and all of that versus the other sea moss, which is the Grossularia, which is this one. And by the way, the Irish sea moss is actual Crondus crispus. People always mix these up. They call all of them Crondus crispus. I know Dr. Sabi called it Crondus crispus, but technically that real Irish sea moss is not this stuff. It's this, Crondus crispus. This one is Grossularia, and there's another species that people typically have. It's, it's, it's something Conti. I can't never say it properly, but there's, there's, other, there's tons of species of, of sea moss, right? But is, as far as which one is actually stronger, so I was, let me focus. <laughs> the Irish sea moss is said to be, um, by many people, to be stronger, and it'll build your body up as far as nutrients. The other one, the Grossularia, people say it's more of like it'll give you energy and detox you and all those things, get rid of mucus. Again, I've been using all of these for a few years. I actually don't notice a difference. Now, different people that I know, they say it affects them differently. I think that's everybody's body is different. So it's one of those things for me, um, until I can get real conclusive evidence, like scientific proven testing evidence, honestly, it's all the same to me. It's just your preference. That's what I tell all the people. Um, but again, you have to try this stuff for yourself because everything does affect everybody. Everybody's body chemistry is different. Um, so it's about preference. Whichever one you want to go with, it's up to you. But it's all going to help you at the end of the day. Now, when it comes to the, the CMOS in our capsules and our SBB formula, the SBB formula is CMOS, burdock, and bladderwrack. So people always ask, what's the difference if I get the capsules versus the raw CMOS and all that? The difference is the SBB formula is stronger. I know there's a lot of light. But the SBB formula is technically stronger because you have two other things in it. You have um, bladder rack, which is another seaweed. It also is very similar to, um, um, going blank, it's also very similar to sea moss. So it has a lot of nutrients. It has a lot of iodine. It's good for your um, thyroid and all that type of stuff. And it has burdock root, which is actual root. That's good for purifying your blood and doing other things like that. You can get all this information on, on the site, RadarPlusNutrition.com. Um, now, when it comes to the bags, people always ask me, it, it, it has a lot of information on back of the bags. You have how to prepare it, which we also have videos on, on how to prepare it on the site. It tells you the dosage, um, how much to take, how to store your sea moss. But it also says our sea moss is harvested organically from Ireland, St. Lucia, Jamaica, and Maine. So it is on the back, but we don't give you a breakdown because it's limited space on where they actually come, each one comes from. But when you go to the site, 
under each one, it does tell you where each one is sourced from. So all that information is on the site. Also, you obviously the website and all the good stuff. Everything's on the bag. Um, another thing people always ask me is, what is the difference between pool grown being it grown on the sea moss that, grow, that grows on ropes versus, you know, where it actually comes from? So sea moss actually um, naturally grows on rocks in the ocean, right? And it grows in water that is, is constantly moving. So it's not grown in still water. It's not grown in ponds and, and stuff like that. Um, you have pool grown sea moss, but the, 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 the truth is, most of the sea moss that you see is not pool grown. And I'm going to do a video on the different types of sea moss and the pool grown sea moss, what to look out for, what not to look. I have some on the site already, but I'm going to do it on, on, on YouTube, but I'm going to do an updated version of that because there is what people call fake sea moss. But I'll show you guys the difference. But um, especially when you get the Irish sea moss, you'll see that there's this. Can't probably won't find one now, but you'll see it has the residue of the rocks on it. Like you'll still have pieces of the rocks. And when you're cleaning your sea moss, you have to look out for that and take it off. For, for some reason, the Grossularia most of the time, when they're picking it, it doesn't, because I think they, they cut it differently or whatever the situation is, you don't usually see the rocks on it, but it grows on rocks. Now, the other thing is, which one is actually better? The way it grows naturally on rocks versus the, the rope um, when they grow it on the ropes. That's, again, something else that everybody has an opinion on, but there's no actual proof through actual testing. So a lot of sea moss that people um, purchase and, and, and use is grown on ropes and they just don't know it. A lot of people that sell sea moss, they, 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 some people not even going to tell you that. I make sure I get my sea moss from people that actually dive in the water and, and, and um, responsibly harvest the sea moss. That means that they're not just ripping it off the rocks. They cut it in a way so that it'll keep growing and reproducing. They're not wiping out the whole population. Now, again, I've used all types of sea moss. I've used the um, I've actually started off using fake sea moss, which I didn't know was fake sea moss at the time. And um Honestly, it, 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 I saw a difference, not a full difference, but I did notice more energy. But something that I also noticed when I was taking it, I couldn't sleep. I, I, so I don't know. <laughs> but at the time, I got it from a health food store and I, I didn't know any better. I thought it was real sea moss and I come to find out it wasn't. It's, it's, it's bad, bad quality sea moss. So um, during my, 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 me, me researching when I was building Radar Plus Nutrition, you know, I made sure I found, you know, I learned all the differences. I found the, the people who actually harvest the sea moss, you know, properly. But um, to answer the question, rope sea moss versus, sorry, rope sea moss versus rock grown sea moss, I really don't see a difference. So I know everybody is going to, there's a lot of information. Everybody's telling you something different. Everybody's like avoid the rope stuff. It's, I haven't really seen any difference. I can't, I got to be honest with you. Um, and there's also a debate of does the sea moss actually get its nutrient? Does it draw the nutrients out of the rocks versus does it get its nutrients from the water? And that's something else I can't conclusively prove that, you know, I've read a ton of different information. I've got information conflicting on both sides. I can't honestly, I'm always constantly trying to up my research and, and learn I can't tell you that there's there's a distinct that there's proven facts about that. So that's up in the air, to be honest with you. Um, but like I said, I'm going to do a video showing you fake sea moss. But if you go through, I'll, I'll link the, the video that I do have in the meantime um, when I post this video. I'll link it up here somewhere up here and I'll put it in the description. So you'll see what fake sea moss looks like because it is fake or bad quality. There's really no fake sea moss, but there's definitely very bad quality sea moss. Um, so that's just some of the things. All, all, what, what I can tell you is when people use sea moss, it makes a difference. It makes a big difference. You can see by the video I just posted where if, if you catch it, when I, I listed all the stuff, you can see the numerous reviews on the website. You can also see the numerous testimonial videos on this YouTube channel. So that's one thing. Just get the sea moss. You know, 
what happens is people stress so much about all this information and it makes them not react. It makes them not do anything because everybody starts worrying. Am I getting quality CMOS? Am I getting the good stuff? Is it real? Is Where is it from and all this? Just get it from us. <laughs> the CMOS is good. And again, you can read all the testimonials and stuff. So I'm going to I'm going to keep it there. Um, there. There's a few other questions. I'll probably answer some other stuff in another video. If you have any questions, Leave it in the comment section. And if I don't respond to you directly, I will respond to you in another video. I'm going to start trying to make more videos like this because I keep getting some of these questions over and over. So now when I get these answers, I mean, these questions, I'm just going to send you the link to the video. Um, but that's pretty much it. Let, let people in the comment section know what our products have done for you. The Focus Plus, the SVB formula, Raw CMOS. Let people know. Um, because there's always people out there that don't know and they're unsure. Let them know that this stuff is real and it's actually helping you and getting benefits. Um, and if, if you've been purchasing our products and you've been getting benefits, you know, definitely please leave us a testimonial or a review on the website or, or send us through the email. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. I'll keep this as short as possible. So until next time, stay focused and fit. Please hit that like button and let's all share the health and the wealth Health is wealth. Let's share with friends and family. Let's all be healthy. Let's celebrate being healthy. Salute.